This video and the Fall TV Takeover are brought to you by PayPal, the simple and safe way to spend, send, and receive money. Download the app today. The streaming giant loves to keep its content fresh. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 releases coming to and leaving Netflix in November 2017. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at five of the best properties that Netflix will sadly be dropping come November 2017, as well as five of the best incoming titles for you to get excited about. Number 5. Hugo, leaving November 1, 2017. Wow. <laughs> From visionary director Martin Scorsese, this award-winning historical adventure-slash-drama tells the story of a young boy named Hugo, whose commitment to fixing a broken automaton leads him on a quest for the ages. Hugo! Hugo, look! Look, it's not done! It's not done! Boasting an impressive cast including Asa Butterfield, Chloe Grace Moretz, Sir Ben Kingsley, Sasha Baron Cohen, and Jude Law, among others. The kid-friendly film was a bit of a deviation from Scorsese's typically heavy offerings, and as such, failed to make much of an impact at the box office relative to its sizable budget. Nonetheless, it was widely considered a triumph in terms of storytelling and cinema, but it's gone as of November 1st. So if you haven't seen it, move fast. No one had ever seen anything like it before. Number 5. Jim and Andy The Great Beyond Coming November 17th, 2017. When I heard I had the part, I was looking at the ocean, and that's the moment when Andy came back to make his movie. Hello. For younger generations not familiar with the history of comedy in America, the name Andy Kaufman might not ring a bell. As those in the know will tell you, however, he was one of the most remarkable, offbeat, and divisive comedians to ever take the stage. Jim Carrey has long considered him an idol, and in the 1999 film Man on the Moon, he got the chance to bring his biggest influence back to life. Much to the displeasure of the crew, he gave it his all, losing himself in the role. After nearly two decades, we get to go behind the scenes of what looks to be one of the craziest film productions ever. Jim and Andy The Great Beyond, featuring a very special contractually obligated mention of Tony Clifton, is a must-watch documentary. I know him as well as I can know him, but uh... Who do you know, even when they're right in front of you? Number 4. Sky High, leaving November 5th, 2017. There she is, Sky High. In this era of superhero movie box office domination, Sky High might not make the biggest impact, but 2005 was a different time. Filmed on a relatively modest budget of an estimated $35 million, it's a family-friendly, light-hearted take on the superhero genre, tailored to appeal to younger generations with its premise. It tells the story of Will Stronghold, the teenage son of a legendary superhero who has yet to develop powers but is sent to a special high school for superpowered youth nonetheless. It's no Civil War or Iron Man, but for those worried that Marvel's heroes are a bit too violent for younger children, or people just looking for a low-stakes family popcorn flick, Sky High is the perfect fit. Number 4. Field of Dreams, coming November 1st, 2017. If you build it, he will come. If you build what, who will come? In these tumultuous times, some nights you just want to unwind and lose yourself in a memory of simpler days. Thankfully, as of November 1st, Netflix has got you covered thanks to its acquisition of Field of Dreams. The classic and widely loved Academy Award-nominated film starring Kevin Costner is the story of a man who destroys his corn crop to build a baseball field after a mysterious voice tells him to. It's not only steeped in baseball history, but also a heartwarming tale about faith and following your dreams. Whether its Netflix debut will be your first or fifteenth time seeing it, we're sure you'll be grateful to Netflix for reminding you of this film. Number 3. V for Vendetta, leaving November 1st, 2017. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. The story of the gunpowder treason plot is being brought to life on the small screen by the BBC in a series starring Kit Harington. However, back in 2005, cinema goers were reacquainted with this episode from English history via V for Vendetta, a dystopian political thriller and adaptation of the comic book by Alan Moore. In it, the titular V, 
a revolutionary looking to destabilize the neo-fascist government, models himself, his mannerisms, and his approach after the perpetrators of the historic assassination attempt. Though the film's politics were deemed too controversial for some, over a decade later it remains required viewing for genre fans, and should not be missed. Number 3. Men in Black – Coming November 1, 2017 We are the Men in Black. It's about time. A full two decades after this stellar film first hit theaters and achieved the impossible, i.e. earned bucket loads of cash and appeased critics, it is finally available on the world's number one streaming service. As of November 1st, you'll be able to jump back in time with the first installment of this hilarious sci-fi action comedy starring Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. If it's been a while since you took a trip with the Men in Black, rest assured, the special effects have aged remarkably well. The jokes still land, and the dynamic between these two leads is just as perfect as you remember. Number 2. The Matrix – Leaving November 1, 2017 We've all got that friend who, for some inexplicable reason, still hasn't gotten around to watching this groundbreaking science fiction film. Every time you're trying to find something to watch together on Netflix, The Matrix comes up. But they just aren't in the mood, but promise they'll watch it with you soon. Right. Well, it better happen ASAP. Like, today. Because, as of November 1st, the entire Matrix trilogy will be taking the red pill and unplugging from the Netflix catalog. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. If that unnamed friend still gives you the runaround, maybe just commit to a movie trilogy marathon by yourself, because soon the films will not be nearly as easily accessible. Number 2. Alias Grace Season 1 – Coming November 3rd, 2017 Did you enjoy Hulu's adaptation of Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale? Yeah. Well, Netflix noticed, and they want you to know that if Margaret Atwood is what you're into, they are more than happy to oblige. After premiering on CBC in September 2017, this six-part miniseries was picked up by Netflix for wider distribution. Set in the mid-1800s and based on a true story, it's the curious tale of Grace Marks, an immigrant housemaid imprisoned in 1843 for murder despite having no memories of the incident. A historical true crime drama, it seems perfectly tailored for the current television trends. This is definitely one to watch. You are surrounded by dangers here. Number 1. How I Met Your Mother, leaving November 13th, 2017. Kids, I'm going to tell you an incredible story. The story of how I met your mother. We really hope you haven't been putting off watching this long-running series under the assumption that it would always be available on Netflix. Because if so, you have between now and November 13th to watch four days and eight hours worth of content. Better call in sick to work with something serious. You're going to be out of commission for a while. Sadly, this series, which has had seasons available on Netflix dating back to 2011, is finally moving on. And dedicated streamers are understandably devastated to see the infinitely rewatchable show disappear from their preferred service. <laughs> Marshall, no! Time to suit up and watch your favorite episode while there's still time. Here. Before we unveil our top incoming pick, here are a few honorable mentions of incoming titles to help soothe your pain. Hi, I'm Spike Lee. I'm not directing. I do this. It pays the rent, puts food on the table, butter on my whole wheat bread. What the, what the, what the hell's going on? Who are you? I'm Shiva, the god of death. If I don't find Henry, he might die. Number one. Marvel's The Punisher, Season 1, coming November 17, 2017. The Marvel Cinematic Universe has done unprecedented things within the film industry, and though the Marvel Netflix shows may operate on a much more modest scale, they too have done something rather remarkable for the superhero genre on the small screen. After his appearance on Season 2 of Daredevil, fans were desperately hungry to see John Bernthal's tough and gritty Punisher get his very own series. And sure enough, Marvel and Netflix have made it happen. On November 17th, cancel your plans, because the entire first season of Punisher is coming to Netflix, and something tells us he's going to command your attention. The world needs to see the truth. This video and the Fall TV Takeover are brought to you by PayPal, the simple and safe way to spend, send, and receive money. Download the app today.